Weight versus range, also known as performance over distance, is another very important aspect of testing an access point's performance. The Candela rate versus range test allows the user to test the access point with stations at different distances from the AP and making performance measurements at each distance step. The distance simulation is done by using programmable attenuators and uh, by controlling the programmable attenuator and increasing the attenuation in user-defined steps, the test can measure upstream, downstream, throughput with, at various different settings at each attenuation step and plot that in a nice rate versus range chart. The reason why rate versus range is an important test is because it tests the ability of the AP's transmitter and receiver in handling the stations at different distances from the AP. Let's assume that the station is very close to the access point and when the AP is transmitting to the station, it can use the one of the highest modulation rates and transmit at a very high data rate because the signal to noise ratio is really good. But as the station starts to move away from the access point, the signal to noise ratio starts dropping and the AP can no longer transmit at the higher modulation rate because the higher modulation rates require a higher signal to noise ratio. So the AP needs to drop to a lower modulation rate in order to avoid packet errors and continue the connection with the station. And as the station moves farther and farther away, the AP need to adapt to a lower rate to maintain communication and achieve the maximum possible throughput with, for that specific conditions. This is called uh, rate scaling and it's a very important aspect of uh, the AP's uh, performance. Similarly, on the receive side, they, when the station is moving uh, farther and farther away from the access point, uh, the signal, the, the receive signal strength from the station starts to drop and it tests the receiver on how well it can uh, basically receive and acknowledge the frames coming from uh, the station. So to run a rate versus range test, we need to first create the test scenario and set up the test bed with the Landford system inside a chamber and the AP inside a chamber and a programmable attenuator that is connected between these two chambers. If you have not already done so, please watch the video on how to set up an AP test bed and how to set up a scenario inside the Landforge user interface before you watch this particular video. So to run the RVR test, I'm going to click on this manage scenario option and in this scenario we have one station that is connected, uh, that's going to be connected to the Netgear AP, which is my device in the test here on channel 157 to the wireless interface. And on the wired interface of the LAN forth system is mapped to the wired LAN on the AP, creating closed loop test setup. So once we apply the scenario, we can now build the scenario and that's going to create the station uh, and uh, it will allow us to now run a rate versus range test. To run uh, this test, we now select the rate versus range option from the test section and then click on run test. And that provides uh, the settings for the RVR test. In this particular settings, now we can go through uh, different frame sizes and spatial streams and channel bandwidths and traffic types and so on. And the most important setting here is the attenuator setting. So we're going to select the the attenuator, uh, programmable attenuator that's being used in this test setup. That is 1.1.71. To run this test, I'm selecting the Netgear AP as my device under test. And I'm going to run uh, quick, short five second test trials uh, from the Wi-Fi station to the ethernet port on the LAN port system. And uh, the, te the, test is the test also allows the user to enter in a calculated path loss between the station and the access point. In this case, I'm calculating about a 25 dB path loss because of all the cabling and the insertion loss from all the connectors. The rate setting will allow the user to set the intended load of the test as a percentage of the theoretical maximum phi rate for the combinations of settings in that particular test. Now, for this scenario, I'm going to select the maximum frame size and I'm going to run a rate versus range test with four spatial streams on 80 megahertz channel bandwidth and I'm going to go through uh, TCP and UDP traffic, both upstream and downstream. 
and for my attenuator i'm going to attenuate between 20 db and 95 db represented by 200 and 950 at uh, 3 db steps and the plus 30 represents uh, 3 db steps so i'm going to start with 20 db of attenuation and run a test at each attenuation step in 3 db increments all the way up to 95 db for each combination of this test run so i'm going to uh, click on the start test here and uh, that's going to launch a real-time uh, test report that will uh, show the progress of the test in real time. So we can see that uh, initially the station will connect to the AP uh, and then once the station is connected, the traffic will start to run and then we go to Google and start making the measurements. The green line here indicates the station uh, that is connected to the access point. We currently see the signal strength uh, from the AP. The lines, uh, the four lines here indicate the attenuation values um, the, and, and indicate the, the cabling between the test uh, Landford system and the Netgear AP. And uh, as we're running the trials, we can see initially uh, the throughput is around 900, uh, 950 or so megabits per second at a really good signal strength. But as we start increasing the attenuation, the signal strength will drop and the throughput will drop. And we can see those plots in real time on this test. Once the test is completed, we can see the rate versus range curves for the various uh, test combinations that we have selected, UDP and TCP, upstream and downstream. Uh, the throughput chart plots the measured throughput uh, over uh, calculated signal strength for all the four uh, test scenario, four test combinations that we had. There were seem to be some glitches with uh, uh, the TCP downstream performance of, of some points where the throughput has dropped. Uh, but again, once again, the device is, uh, the access point is uh, performing really well and extremely consistent uh, in its performance over distance. The test will allow the user to save a PDF report and uh, the, the, the user can then save the, all the test results in a PDF format, which can be shared very easily uh, with anyone uh, interested in looking at the results. Uh, the PDF report will start off with an objective, the, the more information about the device and the test itself that we've entered in the in the initial parts of the test uh, and then uh, also the various charts that uh, uh, represent the, the rate versus range test. As we scroll down, we can see more and more detailed charts of real-time throughput over time, uh, throughput over uh, RSSI as seen by the Landford stations and uh, a whole bunch of other details, uh, uh, packet errors and uh, percentage of frames that are acknowledged and also results in uh, tabular format for all the individual uh, test trials. Another really cool feature is the ability to compare the, the performance or rate versus range performance uh, across different devices in the test or different versions of the firmware on the same device in the test or different settings on the same device in the test. The way we run this is we can select the combinations of uh, if we want to run for the RBR test and then we select this another iteration option uh, and uh, that allows the user to pause the test run. So once we go through one iteration of all these combinations, the test will pause and then the user can go and make the changes on the access points. They can either change the firmware version on the AP or certain settings on the AP or change to a different access point. And then when you, once you click on the start button again, the test will continue and on the report, the user will now be able to see uh, both the all the charts on the same uh, on the same chart, all the data on the same chart, so that you can compare the performance of uh, the two devices on a test, or two different settings on the same DUT, or two different firmware versions on the same DUT on the same plot. 